We are live. We are live. We are live. It's alive. We are live. We are on the way home from the home status of American Conference. <laughs> yeah. But my phone is like, you're just, that, that guy's just too ugly. It's me and Patrick from the Breakaway Homestead. How's everything? We are on our way down the road. We are still in Virginia. And uh, what are we on, 81? Yep, 81 uh, south. Uh, 81 southbound. It's like the hurricane is still here. We were just talking about you What's this morning. What's up, girlfriend? We were talking about you this morning. Yes, we were. Yep. And then we need to talk I was time. I was defending you. Yeah. I was defending you. <laughs> it's it's very dangerous. <laughs> Am I in an alternate universe? Yeah, it's very dangerous for us two to get together. We've learned this. Uh, yes. The Homesteaders of America conference was awesome. It will. Uh, you know, I always had that. The very first year was just completely amazing. And I was like, it's going to be. Let me see. Look, hey, Patrick, let me show y'all something real quick. Patrick has this dancing penguin. Oh, now the penguin's gonna stop dancing. It's dancing. Pepe's dancing. Yeah. Pepe's there he goes, dancing. there he goes, there he's dancing. He's got this dancing penguin in his <laughs> in his car. And uh you will see that penguin again in lots of footage videos that we have. So I'm gonna be leaning this up against the penguin. See how you go. There we go. Bow! Bam! And uh, so the conference was, I was like, how in the world is Amy going to top the first year? Well, let me tell you, he did. The area was a lot bigger, and so everybody was able to have more of their own, for lack of a better term, personal space. Um, I had a great area to do my demos. Mr. Wynn swept in the house. I got to meet him. I didn't get to spend a lot of time with him because he was working, he was volunteering, and every time he seemed to have a break, I always had a crap. And uh, I really wish I could have been able to spend more time with Mr. and Mrs. Windswept. And, uh, but we had a lot more, like I had a really, we, Robin and I had a really good location for our vendor. Whoa! Oh, a little acceleration there, my bad. It's not me, it's the cruise yeah. control. Homestead Evolution. Hey, how's it going? Hey, guys. Hey, hey mama. And uh, we had, we we had like a great location for our vendor spot. I had a nice little spot next to our vendor spot to do my demos. Josh from JJL Forge was right next to us. What's up, Amanda? What's up, girlfriend? And he was just banging out stuff, doing demos all day. And he worked very hard. He was he was smoking up the place. There was no mosquitoes around us because of his booth. So anytime we go to a conference now, and if he's there, boom. Yeah. He, I'm gonna be by him because. That's blacksmith smoke. There was no, uh, there was no mosquitoes around. AJ Farms was there, Homestead Evolution. That's who they were there as. It was great to meet them. I mean, we got to meet a lot of folks this year that weren't here. Um, got to meet Justin Rhodes. Yep. He was extremely cool, and his wife was really cool. I sat Very next fun. to them. Yeah. on the the q a panel his wife justin drove's wife is absolutely hilarious she does not like to talk on the microphone and she leaned over to me and she said i just want to let you know if justin goes to hand me this mic i'm handing it straight to you and i said well what if i don't what if i ain't got anything to say she said that's not my problem <laughs> <laughs> and she did he would hand it to her and she would be like this boop boop right over uh eustace conway he was uh he is a very intelligent man but extremely soft spoken uh he is just happy all the time and when you 
have no bills, I can see how you could be happy. That happy all the time. Uh, of course, Joel Salatin was there. I didn't get to visit with Joel as much as I would have liked to, uh, like I did last year. Um, but Joel and I did did talk. We're gonna be communicating back and forth through the email. Doug and Stacy. Doug and Stacy was there. Doug came around a lot. A lot. He came, came around, around a lot and visited a lot. I'm gonna be. Uh, Robin and I are gonna be trying to make his conference next year uh, to be able to go up to Missouri. And uh, I don't know if he's gonna have us talk or anything. Perceiving a life. Hey. hey. Uh, we were just on her live stream. Yeah, we were just on her live stream. She sub, was sub her channel. She needs yeah, more subs. Oh, She's here comes Robin. Doug was coming to visit her, not oh, me. Oh, that's what it was. That's what it was. Well, uh, Freedom mm -hmm. Acres, the rabbit guy. Yes, the rabbit guy. The rabbit guy is cool. He's all. Yes. He was cool last year. He came down from Michigan. And uh, he uh, he offered us a couple of rabbits to do some do some skinning demos. And I just we didn't have the room this year because we brought extra traps this year. We didn't have the room to bring our skinning stuff, so we're just. Mm -hmm. We already got it in our mind uh, for next year that, um, because I do believe we've been invited back, I'm pretty sure we've been invited for next year. And so we're gonna make sure we have a bigger trailer and I'm gonna bring all my skinning stuff and I'm gonna bring some tanning solution and stuff next year. Uh, we're gonna do some tanning and breaking some hides while we're there. Um, We'll go ahead and get some hides in the tanning solution before we take off up there. I told Doug he needed to have an extra shot of elderberry juice to help with uh, it fades away. I'm a slow reader. Uh, <laughs> but let's see. Uh, so okay, White Mr. House on the Hill. Yes. That guy is just as funny in person. Yes. As he is in on his videos he came over and uh, he did some interviews with Robin and I f because they were also filming for um, the, home, the, the home conference. Of America conference but he was also filming for his channel the dude is absolutely hilarious um, we've invited him to come to our homestead hopefully they're gonna come and he's gonna come and uh, go trapping with me uh, Freedom Homestead was there, Jack and Tangie. They've got an opening, they've always had an open invitation, but, but their, one of their uh, kids seemed really interested in trapping. And so we threw the, basically threw the gauntlet down and said, hey, bring him. I will mentor him in trapping and uh, get him going with that. Prats. 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 The Pratts were there. I they were crazy they busy, were yeah. uh, too. Um, they seemed like they couldn't walk three feet without somebody, somebody else wanting to talk to them. Yeah. Um, and then the Aldermans. And then we, the Aldermans, the Aldermans were there. We had dinner last night with, with the, with the uh, Aldermans. They, we, they came over to the B&B where we were staying, or R&B, whatever it's called. Airbnb. Yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> and we had Patrick made chili. Yep. And it was. And cornbread. Um, yeah, we had chili and cornbread. It was good. And it was worth it. It, it was awesome. Made a new friend, Doc Jeff. Yep. Uh, Jeff really there. cool dude. Let's see. We got to see Mama T and her gang again this year. Bandana Grandma was awesome. There. Bandana Grandma came, gave me a big hug. Her husband was there. Yes, he was. He's very. He's a Navy guy. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's So, I'm just saying. Yeah, Navy guy. Navy guy. I spoke with him for a little while. And, uh... I'm not really familiar with Bandana, Bandana Grandma. I'm subscribed to her, but I don't watch a whole lot of her stuff, but I will now. But I got to speak with her husband. He didn't want to come out last year because he didn't feel like he belonged. Yeah. But this year, he's much happier. Yeah, he's much happier. And, uh... Let's see, what else? I did my lecture Friday morning. My dad came to see me lecture it was super cool uh, he can he came up to me after the lecture and he said I don't know if you know this son but I counted you had a hundred people 
in there listening to you lecture. And uh, and, I, and he goes, and you did a really good job. I don't know if that's just dad talk or, but my dad's always been, the, for that, for my dad to say that is really cool because he's always been like, you know, well, maybe next time you should try da 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 da. But he, you know, he just flat out said, you did a really good job. Now, he may wait and when he comes down for Dessa's birthday and uh, he may say, you know, you may want to do this and just totally bust my bubble then. But hey, that's cool. I, I like to get critiqued. Uh, we met the, we got, oh, oh, we got, oh, we're going to be doing a video on it. Um, it's repeat for something. I missed it. Amanda said something. Amanda, Amanda or Anita? I thought that Amanda. was Anita. Amanda. Amanda. Hey, Sorry. somebody else comment again so I'll pop back up. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, we there was a mushroom dude there. Ah. And he had all kinds of crazy different types of mushrooms. And unfortunately, well, fortunately or unfortunately, depends on how you look at it. The zombie club. She's in desperate need of some insomnia club. Somebody right. needs to vent. We're gonna we're gonna try. It probably won't be tonight, but maybe tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow night, Monday night, we are going to be live with Two Family Homestead. They had a uh, a guest. Something happened to their guest that was supposed to be there, and Daryl asked Robin if we would basically substitute, come on, and of course, Robin I don't know said if that's yes. That's a good idea. Or not. <laughs> so we're gonna have a we're gonna have a good time. Uh, a lot of you guys know Andy's backyard. What is it? Backyard and wood shop or backyard and garden? I forget the name of his channel. Oh, that poor man. That poor man. Between uh, Country Girl, Sherry from Two Family, and then there was a, another lady, and I don't remember his name. You know where the conference will be next year. It's going to be at the same location. Good. Same location, same dates. Um, yes, his hair experiment, Anita. That's exactly what I was getting ready to talk about. It's going to be the 11th and 12th. Um, as of right now, they're not going to do the classes a day before. I think they're going to um, incorporate the classes into the conference which i think will be a lot better for everybody so let me tell you about the classes because i was a student there were four students and we learned so much from his course it wasn't even funny we came back with so much knowledge and the fact that that kid was there blew me away and you know what every were, time every time that kid would come up yep. i would question him again yeah and if there was nobody around he would answer because he's very shy yeah but if there was people around, he'd be like, oh, no. I was like, two seconds ago, you knew? <laughs> it was a, a father-son combo, and they learned so much together, and they did it together. They did it together. And the wife was there, which was cool as well. She did the, the rabbit. The rabbit cooking course. Rabbit butchering yeah. and cooking course. And uh, so they were all together as a family unit, you know, learning new things, which is cool. And that's the, that's the way to do it. And I think that's that's the way... Like with my lecture, I had a lot of guys in my lecture, and I know what it happened was they were the, all the females, all the wives, went to Amy Fuel's lecture about the the, the herbs, herbs of dying, dying wool. Yeah, and boom, all the husbands, boom, came over, came over to me. I had a couple of um, couple of guys in there, and I uh, had a lot of good questions. And uh, it was just well, very well received. We will definitely have to bring more traps again next year. We doubled up in the amount of traps that we brought from last year, and we sold out again. The Homesteaders Trapper Basket that we put together, that I do have to do a video on, uh, was very well received. We sold one uh, uh, because we gave basically gave them out in the class of the individuals in the class and uh wholesome roots rose was there what's up rose yep we saw you too. rose was there she's gonna have some great footage yes. coming out from the uh conference uh i know she spent a lot of time with robin she barely spoke to me she's like 
Hey, Robin, and you? I just said hi. I shook your hand. I was like, ah, I watch you. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so we are, I mean, we are super, super pumped up, super fired up. Uh, Robin's, Robin's got her goal. She's really fired up about getting her book out now. I'm fired up um, about finishing my book, getting it out. And uh, kind of the conference kind of relit a fire underneath us to be able to put out more content to to get things going. Um, the Q and A. <laughs> Robin calls Rose from Wholesome Roops a dirty hippie because she wears chewy <laughs> for deodorant. She says, "I." And Rose is like, "I smell like a dirty hippie." So Robin just started calling her that. And uh, man, we had so much fun. There was a lot of camaraderie yeah. there. Yeah, People Amanda over there. from the yeah. uh, Fugal family, fundamental home. She was awesome again this year. Nunda, oh, let me tell you guys something. Nobody over those last three days worked harder than Amy, Nunda, uh, Nunda's husband, John. The guy and, from the house of the hill. And uh, Mark, Amy's husband, and White House on the hill. Yeah. Those guys were thumping the whole time. All of the volunteers were off the chain working. But 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 by the end of the conference, Nunda was exhausted, Amy was exhausted, Tangie was exhausted. Uh, oh, rest area just saying Robin must have to pee. Uh, everybody was exhausted. <laughs> um, Carol Ann got to help out and volunteer for a little while. Everybody worked so hard. And, uh, and it showed. The, I mean, I just, there's not enough good things that I could, that we could say about the conference. Everything went so smoothly. Uh, one of, uh, they, one kid did get injured. They were playing, and he ran into a tree and uh, cut his eye. He didn't have to get stitches or anything. Um, he cut his eye up. He was fine. Uh, but he's fine. I'm trying to think. There were some goats there. The mushroom guys were super cool. I can't remember their name right off the top of my head. Robin probably can tell you because she's good at that. Um, there's the rest of the rest. Oh, it's up there with all the trucks here. Okay. And check out all of these 18 wheelers in the uh it's coming ridiculous. in coming in here. It's crazy. Hey Chrissy Scott. Oh look at them just lined up. Trucks and buses, also vehicles. Coming into a rest area. This looks like you know what this reminds me of? is um when uh angry american in the very first going home yep. series the truck the way, stop. yeah yep, the way he talked coming. about how packed the rest area and he picked was. up that girl what was the girl's name oh uh, yeah uh, there's a dancing penguin and ain't dancing anymore bait. Bait. But, but. so what was your favorite part of the conference besides my class other than your class um <laughs> uh, it was just seeing everybody in one spot. You know, the community, the YouTube community for uh, for homesteading is a very small community uh, in, in the light of things. And there's there's Robin. And so... Hi, I got to pee. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, well, you just told everybody uh, on YouTube. They already Robin's knew when pee. I said rest area. Yeah, rest area. All right, I'll be back. Watch the room. Okay. Um, Robin's got to pee. I got to pee, too. Okay, we'll um, pee. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to go, but uh, having them all together in one spot, mm -hmm. it, it was really comforting to know that they were all together in one spot and that uh, they were available for questioning, for everything like that. Mm -hmm. And so that was my favorite thing was <coughs> watching these people as they walked around mm -hmm. and <coughs> visit each and every station. Like Doug and Stacy, he went to every station. Doug went to every station. Talk to everybody and sat around for a while and he was just really cool uh white house on the hill that guy 
I, I don't know what his name is. I'm Jack. Just, Jack. Uh, I mean, I end of the day. Jack or Jake? For end of the first day. Uh, end of the first day, he was pulling garbage uh, from the garbage bins. And so I was just like, this guy, he's got a great channel. He's got a good following, everything like that. But he's just a normal guy. Yeah. And he's pulling garbage from this conference that people go to to see him. And so it goes full circle, and it's just an amazing yeah. thing. One, one of the things that I like about it, and, and, you're, and you're touching on it, go pee. I'm going to go Was the fact that with the, within this community, you know, if people seeing a job that needed to be done, they weren't like, you know, I mean, I watched even Doug was carrying chairs at one point. Doug and Stacy was carrying chairs. Tommy Alderman was carrying chairs. We were carrying chairs. We were emptying trash. We were doing, you know, everybody was pulling together at different points to make this conference <laughs> a success. And it was just. I guess I could close this yeah. as well. It was just really cool to see. People come together, help each other set up tents, help each other watch children, you know, uh, work each other's booth. If, you know, like yeah, Patrick, everybody helped with each you know, other, yeah. Patrick would come over, let Robin go pee. Um, Tommy Alderman was helping with Bandana Grandma and them. And it was just, it was just crazy cool to see every like minded people be able to come together. Hang out. You know what I would just... love to see? Maybe some some way that they could coordinate where we have the opportunity to shut booths down and everybody just get together and visit for a little, like have like a, I don't know, like maybe like at a lunch or some lunchtime or whatever, just shut everything down and everybody come in yeah. to visit each other. Because that was the only challenge, and it's been that way both years getting away from your booth to be able to go visit everybody else we didn't get a chance to do any filming we didn't get a chance to do very many pictures the only pictures that we probably have are the ones where somebody else shot a picture with us yeah. so i got a picture with Stacey if you man. have a picture of us <laughs> send it to us please <laughs> uh and all in the chat cheers from montreal awesome oh welcome so, to montreal well the problem with the after party is everybody gets so exhausted mm -hmm. and like five o'clock it is shut down time yeah and everybody is so tired so it it's not as practical to do something after that's mm -hmm. what I was saying like in the middle like right at lunch time it would be nice to just everybody chill and just kind of mingle yeah. and meet or something like that yeah it would that would be um, that would be really really cool I really like uh, perceiving mm -hmm. a life said that you want to talk to Amy about making a uh, Homesteaders of America yearbook. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be cool. <coughs> um, <laughs> that would be really cool. And uh, so everybody was complaining about the cold weather, but I praise God for the cold weather because <laughs> we did so well <laughs> because everybody was cold. <laughs> We sold sweatshirts, long sleeve shirts. I even had a, a dad come up and ask me to Roots make his refuge. yeah to make his three year old son a hat, and I wouldn't have charged him like anything because that poor little kid, his little ears were like bright red, and so I whipped out a hat real quick, nothing fancy for him, and uh, it was just it was super super cold, but everybody managed to stay warm. You know, mm -hmm. it was just an over effort and we had I had people coming over asking if we had mittens I'm like no go to bandana grandma <laughs> she's got the best ones on the market go yeah and bandana grandma <laughs> sold out of her mittens and I would see people she'd walking come down, around she come down and tell Robin quit sending people I don't have any more <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. yeah so it was fun all the way around was, I just wish I had had more time to visit people and not feel like I was deserting my booth yeah. to be able to go do it the, the big yeah. struggle but. I'd love to have been able to go listen to Doug yeah. Talk to Justin Rhodes. Talk to use use this Conway talk, and yeah. of course, you know I'd love to <laughs> listen to Salatin speak. But you just as you're running these booths and stuff. Well, and it's not even running the booth on your end of it. Is you were there to work, not to play. Yeah. 
and that's the the balance is is that you're not there to play. Yeah, so there we'll are people go, there to play, we'll have to go but to we're a, not there to play. Mother Earth news conference and listen to Joel. <laughs> Something. Joel speak. So, so that's, that's the trick is you know trying to make sure that there's a nice balance between mm -hmm. the two it would be. Yeah. So. But the I, it was really cool getting to meet White House on the Hill in person. Mm -hmm. He. I, the wife is really pleasant. She's very nice, very it, friendly. It, it, Jake or Jack? It's, it's Jake, right? I th yeah, I think it's I Jake. I think so. And yeah. then a lot, no, Jeremiah was with some refugees. Yeah, I think it's Jake. I don't know. He, I don't he's funny in his videos, but in person, oh, he did some, he did a random question interview <laughs> with me. He was <clears throat> asking me if I was the big spoon, little spoon. <laughs> Say, what's up? Tim Beverly. Tim worked really hard too. Right, I gotta get back in the car. Uh, I, th I think he worked harder at uh, busting my girl's oh. chops than he did anything. He, Tim had fun with that line was forever long. And Carol. Um, man, it was just, it was a great, great conference. It was. It was. My first. I was happy with it. Yeah. And, uh. Oh! My bad. My bad. Crazy. Crazy driver. And now we are back on the road again. Road again. On the road. Look, that guy got me. Look, even got a poor trucker parked all the way out here. Pooper scooper. Oh crap, yeah, I do have to buckle up, don't I? Thank you. <laughs> Whoops. Hold on. Well, Y'all look at the, the penguin's belly for a second. I gotta put my seatbelt on. That's a good call. Who was that? Teresa Dean, I think, called it. Called me out on it. Yeah. And so, oh, oh. Come back around. We were driving down 81. I've got to, some I got some footage of it. Josh and I, or not Josh, Patrick, Patrick and I were driving down the road and you would never believe what vehicle came up beside us. An old Woody. Well, I want to say it was a 26. Yeah. 1926. 19. And it was in beautiful it was condition. Fully refurbished. Refurbished. The wood was all in the back. I was looking for a surfboard, waiting for a Beach Boy song to come on. So it was. And this thing was hauling yeah. too. He was flat getting it. We have been living on coffee. I think you're drinking my coffee. Mm -mm. I got the big one. You had the little. Oh, well, then I've been drinking your coffee. Oh, okay. <laughs> we are now in really close friends. <laughs> yeah, sharing coffee. Yep, sharing coffee. Yep. Let's see, where are we? We are in Virginia. Are we still in Virginia? Or are we in North we are. We are in Virginia. Still. Uh, we're about to head through the Smoky Mountains. And uh, once we do that, we'll be in North Carolina. Yeah. Head towards Charlotte. Head towards. It is beautiful country mm -hmm. up here. Very beautiful country. <laughs> yeah, I've been drinking your coffee. <laughs> yeah, thanks. And uh, the wife and the girls are behind us in a rent a car. Oh, speaking of rent a cars, there's going to we're going to have a video coming out about the tobacco that we had to go through with getting a rent a car. It was crazy. We were discriminated against. Uh, it's something should never have happened. Yeah, never ever should have happened. We should have never been treated. No American should ever have been treated the way that we were treated. Um, and the difference between Hertz and Enterprise. Enterprise did us well. so well. We love Enterprise. Hurts, not so much. 
Um, but we're going to go into more detail into that video. Uh, but, I mean, that was the only bad thing that happened during this conference, on the way to the conference. So one weird thing happened. So the, the Thursday when we had the class, it was hot, it was ice out, whatnot. The following morning, it was 48 degrees out. And it's been cold ever since. Yep. Yeah. That's he, that's one thing. But he sold a lot of uh, hoodies. Back the time. the um, the class went well. I think uh, I would have loved to have drier weather. Um, oh yeah, let us to lock the keys in the car. But but you know that got handled. Our insurance company got roadside assistance. What's up, Josh? Um, that got handled with no debacle. Uh, something blew up and broke the axe. What is she talking about? Something blew up and what? I don't know what she's talking about. That must be something that she didn't share with me. I have no idea what my wife is talking about with that one. Yeah, it's a beautiful country out here. Yes. It'd be nicer if it stopped raining. Yeah. Okay. Pop quiz. Well, not really a pop quiz. I got a question. <laughs> We're driving down the road. We're driving down 81. <coughs> <coughs> oh, yeah. The tent blew away and broke. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, that happened. Um, We're driving down 81. In the medium. There are these long... They're dried out. There are these long stems... And they've got like a pod. And when the pod boat breaks open, it's white. It almost looks like cotton. Yeah. And I know it's not cotton. It's like a big uh, dandelion. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a, I want, it's almost, yeah, like a dandelion or like a rag bead or, or something. What is the name of this plant? Milkweed. That's Milkweed. It, yeah, that's I was like, it it's is. not a thistle. Because yeah. that's the only other thing that I can think of that does that part. Yeah, milkweed. So, what a wonderful, wonderful trip. I, anytime I get to go to the mountains, I love it. When we get on 77, um, get up here, and we're starting to head out of Virginia into the North Carolina, uh, we will be in my family's territory around uh, Galax Independence, Mouth of Wilson, Virginia. My bloodline runs Deep. I'm talking deep, 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 deep in those hills. Um, we drive by, we say, love you, Nanny and Papa, because they're both buried up on the mountain up there. And uh, and so that, I mean, we're just really enjoying the, the time together with Patrick. Breakaway Homestead, we're going we're gonna to force him to start putting out more videos. Yeah. Um, so you guys got to go and yeah, check out his too. channel. Yeah. yeah, Megan as well. It's probably the funniest thing. <laughs> his his wife did a some type of different video chat with him. It was a uh, instant messenger chat, video chat. Yeah, and he thought he hung up, and uh, he. He started to try to talk all big and bad, and the next thing you know, his phone says, "I can still hear you." <laughs> then she sent me a picture of a dirty type. Yeah. No, she wasn't happy about that, but it was hilarious. <laughs> it was hilarious. And uh, it was that was that was probably one of the funniest moments at the conference. I can still hear you. <laughs> but but overall conference again I, and, and again before thinking about it you said what was, what was the most favorite part uh -huh. probably sitting down at dinner night, last night with all yeah dinner last night with the, with the aldermans was anytime you get to sit down with tommy and patty alderman in in a closed group setting you walk away a better person yes um they are wonderful people great great mentors to have and and I think it makes Tommy nervous when I tell him that. And he's like, well, 
just know I'm going to disappoint you one day. I'm going to disappoint you one day, so don't hold it too much against me. <laughs> and I keep telling him, I don't think that's ever going to happen. But he swears up and down he's going to disappoint me one day. Um, they enjoyed the chili. They had seconds. Yeah. They, they, were, they, were they all liked the chili. It. I yeah. think they were just hungry. Everybody yeah, was just hungry. Was hungry. And, uh, yeah. Then, then, uh, I guess it was Friday night. No, Thursday night, we had dinner with uh, Josh and his family and got to learn random facts about them and I uh, got to really fellowship with them and it was awesome. Now my phone don't like me. <laughs> and, uh, and then of course the whole time I've been getting to fellowship with you and getting to know you better and uh, man it's just been a it's been a wonderful conference for everyone. We've hit it off pretty well, I think. Yeah, I think so. I, think yeah. so too. I got a lot of random facts about this guy. A lot of random facts. A lot of random facts. Those are brake lights. Brake lights. Slow them down. The part about traveling, nobody likes. Brake lights. Brake lights. Traffic jam. Nice truck yeah. And uh, had a lot of questions about bears from folks. In so I'm thinking that Virginia has a lot of bears. So I don't know. We got to bring it out. Dancing penguin. <laughs> Robin says one word: blackmail. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, so. So I'm going to switch it back around and <laughs> lean it up against old, what's his name? Pepe. Pepe. Is his name again? We got some decent GoPro footage of the drive up there. We tried to get some on the way back, but it wouldn't stick to the thing. <laughs> we were so involved with everything. I mean, we really didn't take the time out yeah. to make video. I didn't take any video or anything yeah. like that. I maybe have took one one picture, one selfie with a, a fellow uh, YouTuber. Um, I think that was it. And that's because I knew her personally. Well, not personally, but uh, more personally on YouTube. Whoa. Like we were close. For, uh, was that Perceiving a Lie? Perceiving no, a Lie. No, Tim Beverly. Yeah. He said that he saw somebody hit a bear last night on the way home. It's that's crazy. Look at that car. Man, I need to come up here and go bear hunting. Stacy Lynn Harris super cool got a picture with her um, she was crazy busy she has like her own entourage yeah. that follows her she has somebody that plans out her life and professional photographers that basically their whole job is to follow her around and, and, and take pictures uh, crazy cool. but she was on the Q&A panel with us and uh, that's a, she, she cooked right before the panel Deer sausage and gravy. And you didn't get any? No. It smelled so good. Uh, well, there we, were so many people there. I thought probably we bonded. 200 people there. I thought we bonded. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. We didn't bond <laughs> that much. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen that before. No, I haven't. Look, here's another one. What? Have you ever seen something like that? What in like the world? That? What the crap is that? <laughs> That's some ghetto stuff right there. That's ghetto. That's why the, the traffic's slow. Yeah. Everybody's looking at the ghetto, the ghetto car. The ghetto car hauling. Yeah. And let's see. And her, her whole entire family was there. Yep. You know. Her her one son is Diesel. He's He could be like a middle linebacker for the Packers. <laughs> He's just solid. Um, let's see. There's a couple of Marines there. They came by and it's like they made a beeline straight for me to say hello and uh they said they watched the channel and stuff which is really cool my marine brother brothers are watching my channel um 
do get some fried onions. Seriously? Uh, 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 people from, let's see, Michigan, upstate New York. There was a yeah. trapper that came down from upstate New York. And uh, I hope you see my Claire. I know she traveled very far. Mm -hmm. I don't remember how far, but she traveled for a long time. She's on her way back. Well, I think Rose is home. Rose should be home by now. I think she, uh, I think she flew. Ah, she, she flew. It's easy. And uh, a little jelly for that. But uh, uh, Brown, was it uh, Brown made homestead? Was that what that guy's name was? That that sat into the class near the end. Uh, they got that. I think he won the tickets from two family. I don't know. And uh, he was a really cool. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He yeah. volunteered because of me and helped a lot. Yeah, he helped with the mic. If he had a channel, he's going to have some good footage because he had his GoPro strapped to him the entire time. Yeah, he had a go what, during the Q&A, he had a GoPro strapped to his, chest. to his chest. I saw that and I was like, oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Um, Doug's going to have some really good footage uh, too because he set down his, his uh, cannon on a little mini tripod pointed up. Brown Coat Homestead was his name. Uh, Brown Coat Homestead. I'll have to look him up and stuff. Yeah. Hopefully he puts out some video. And uh, he's going to have some good footage. Doug's got some drum footage, I know. And it's just, it was it was a very positive experience all the way around. I was super excited. I'm super excited about the mushrooms. Y'all, um, I can't remember what kind we got. I want to see. Robin, Robin knows because it was kind of Robin wanting. Um, I think it was the big fat ones, the big like ones that are like a steak, shiitake or a chicken of the woods. I think it was shiitake. Yeah, it might have been shiitake. It might have been. But yeah. we, they got these little tiny plugs that, and I, it's like you can use. I, it's like I was IKEA dowels, IKEA plugs. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I was so excited. And uh, so I was like, okay, well, what kind of logs can I put these in? And uh, he's like, well, you can, you know, and he gave us the paperwork. And one of the trees that were on there was a sweet gum. And I was like, yes, yes, something to use. Yeah. Because I'm fixing to drop a ton. shite ton of sweet gum trees. I hate sweet gum trees. But I was like, this is why God put you on the earth, sweet gum. And he's so like, we give can me a grow thousand. mushrooms. <laughs> so we can grow mushrooms. Yes, yeah, shiitake. And and I'm so excited about that. So he, the guy told me what to do. I'm gonna follow his directions to the letter. And hopefully, we are going to have some shiitake mushrooms next year. Now, one of the things that he told us that the law was at least in his state was he can he cannot dehydrate them and sell them he cannot uh, can them and sell them or sell them basically already coming out of the log he, the only thing that he's allowed to sell are the spores and the also thing that I learned about him mushrooms growing mushrooms is not really sustainable um, to a homesteader unless you buy a lot of these plugs it's a little bit like the essential oils how Robin does the essential oils the essential oils in the long run we would not be able to produce on our homestead because to be able to make a small vial like so this of lavender yeah. we would have to have like 50 acres of lavender <laughs> and so but one of the things I did find out is that those little tablets they do last a while so you would be able to stock up <coughs> yep we're still yawning um let's see who i didn't get a chance to talk with the solar guy i did I saw yeah the, the kind of local area i asked him about coming down the well, we don't go that far, but they used to do wind and solar, but they finally stuck with just the solar. Just the solar. One thing I learned from them is back in 2016, they had a tax deduction made up, 
right? right? All the way up to 2000. And it's 30% of everything you spend on solar gets back to you from tax credit. Okay. What I didn't know, and I thought it was done in over with in 2016, they extended it all the way to 2020. Really? So you can still get a 30% discount on any solar you buy. That's good. That's good. We need to hurry up and get some solar going on our homestead there. That's what I said, too. Um, they'll, I wonder if they'll extend it again. I don't know. That It'd be nice if they would. Oh, wait, everybody 2020 can is what they, they said. Yeah. 30%. Tax credits back. That's money back. That's not a deduction. Right. That's money back. That's money in the bank, though. So, money in the bank. Yeah. Let's see. Who else? Uh, BCS America. Uh huh. That's the Bonnie tractors. They were there. Yeah. Um, got to look at some implements. And so, if you have a, you have a five acre or smaller farm, it's a great It's, it's having a tractor with a PTO. Uh -huh. To put all the implements on, you got your tillers, you got your mowers, your bush hogs. And you could you can even put a tether on it, and, and there's also a baler you can put on this thing, and it makes small round bales of hay. It's cool. Um, mm. yeah. Log ox, did you go visit? Log, Log ox was there. They were there last year as well. Uh -huh. uh, got to watch the demonstration. That was good. Because you got you got the opportunity, you got to walk. I got around. to walk around. I was there as a guest. I wasn't there as somebody who was who was a part of the actual thing. So, so as a as somebody who was um, there as a uh, guest or as a spectator, what was your over? How on a scale of one to ten, ten one being bad, ten being excellent. Seven and a half. And the reason why is because this conference was sponsored by so many big names that did not show up with stuff. Because at Lehman's, yeah, they should have been there. You know, they they sponsored. They're the big sponsor of the, uh, the uh, event, but they were there's no set, tent set up. They weren't trying to sell any products or put out uh, magazines or anything like that. Another one, uh, Harvest Right. They sell freeze dryers and uh, home freeze dryers. I am really wanting to get a home freeze dryer. My wife knows this. And I was looking forward to seeing a demonstration of this freeze dryer face up. They didn't show up either. Uh, so uh, who did show up was the people with the electric net. Uh, what was the Premier One. Premier One, they, they, they were a large uh, sponsor for the event. They, they really pushed their product. They put their product out there. People, yeah, they had a nice booth. They were diagonal they had a great from us. Group, great, great booth. Yeah. And they set up their fencing. It lasted through all the wind and rain that happened. And uh, they had all, had some poultry stuff set up. And uh, they sponsored Cody Rhodes. They sponsored uh, uh, Joel Salatin on their farms. And they were praising. Uh, hey. I'm not sure if it's a plug or if they were actually praising the fact that that their fencing and stuff works out great. And I looked at their catalog, there's a few things I'm going to get from there. But um, I, I wish that a lot of the big sponsors that were there actually... Uh, well, Baker, Baker Creek was there and they gave out a lot of seeds. Seeds, yeah. I yeah. saw that yesterday as well. I didn't get any, but... Seven seven's coming up for sure. And Hillsville, okay, Lax, we're fixing to come in for sure. My family's back of the woods. We're in the seventy seven south here. Kiss my butt turn and then head south. Big Bear Land. I love it how you call these. He calls these tight turns on a U, on an off ramp when it comes up and it U's around. He calls them kiss my butt turns. Yeah, kiss my butt. Because when when they come up like this, now it's like this one. You see that? How it goes around like that? 
Patrick calls him kiss my butt turns. Y'all look at the dancing penguins in my That's what he calls me. I say butt, but I really say the A word. Yeah. This is what it is. I'm gonna get up on this guy's butt. US Army, that's why it's taking forever. Just kidding. Come on, Jeff. <laughs> is Doc in here? Doc Ferris? I doubt it. He's driving, he doesn't touch his phone. Oh, that's good. It's like he's school. Yeah, it's the way it should be. I don't have my phone in my hand either. You look at me like that. What is that beeping? No idea. No idea. Blow us up. Something. And, uh, so. So that, that's a very interesting observation. Very informative observation. Um, I'm going to pass that along to Amy. I, don't, I think... Amy's probably still asleep. She should be. She <laughs> needs to be. Um, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass that information along to her because because that is that is a very good. It's crucial. Yeah. A lot of people are expecting these, these sponsors to be there because they're sponsoring the event. Yeah. And they weren't there. And so it's kind of it's like eh. I really wanted to see a, a dehydrator. It's a freeze dryer, face up see the actual size of it. Right. And I'll try samples. Yeah. It just, it just wasn't there. Teresa Deans asked, was there a huge turnout? Yes. 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 There was probably, at one given time, I would say there were probably about 2,000 people. I was going to say close to five. Close to five? Yeah. Two, yeah. maybe three at max. You think? Yeah. I don't think they, I think they had enough to fill up inside the barn. I think they had enough to fill 2,000 yeah, and that was always half full. Yeah, always. Like during a Q and A, there wasn't really an empty seat, seat right. in the barn. Um, so, yeah, and there were still people that didn't even come in the barn that were still walking around with the vendors while the Q and A was going on. Yep. Uh, there's that uh, one butcher shop. They have knives, and they do curing and stuff like that. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah. It was a good, it was a good time. They had some great bags. They had a woodworker there that when we were going to see the mushrooms, I saw his booth. And uh, he looked like he had some really cool stuff. I wish I would have had the opportunity to stop and, and chat with him for Talking a little bit. in the tent? Or... There's a guy that I cannot remember the name of this channel. He's from California. Uh, he had cancer. I got over that. I came over. And uh, I cannot remember his name. It was like it, when you went down past where our booth, that pavilion where we had the class, and if you would turn left, he was like the second tent up on the left. He had some really beautiful stuff out there. And I wish I would have had the opportunity to stop and chat with him, but it is what it is. <coughs> Which of you guys get over to the wood cook stove guy? No. Did you? That I was mean, another I dude at, I, wanted, I wanted to see. Yeah, one up there, I can't remember uh, the name of the brand. I looked at the wood stove. The wood stove was beautiful. Yeah. Uh, the guy was not there, but Jeff, Doc Ferris was with us. Uh, he had said that uh, that cook stove was 6000 I believe it. The one that they had down there? Well, it was probably worth it. Yeah. That, that thing looked like it did everything. It had a, uh, a stainless steel top on it. It was that thick. And that's how much heat it draws off from the firebox. And so you know the top of that was perfect. It was and baking and everything else. Yeah. And it kind of reminds me of the Elmira stoves, uh, which is kind of along the same lines. Uh, it was a pretty good quality product. And they also still sold... Uh, Fire rings. Han Hume Farm was the was the butcher. Yes, Han Hume Farm. And they brought prosciutto out yesterday. That they what? had been oh yeah. And you didn't they, see I thought we bonded out there. I, out there. I thought we bonded on this trip that you'd have been like H A blah blah. Yeah, they brought a hawk out and prosciutto that they were curing for like six people. Oh and it was so melt in your mouth, freaking good. It wasn't fun. 
but they do uh, curing courses online. And I'm definitely going to look into that. Curing is, a, is, a, is an art. It's an art. It's an art form. Yes, it is. So, That's one of the things that we want to start to do with our pigs. Because, uh, spoiler alert, there's going to be a video coming out on our channel within the next couple of months where we're building a smokehouse out of an old side-by-side -side nice. trailer. And uh, we definitely want to be able to make our own uh, salami. Smoked meat, salamis, sausage, pepperonis, stuff like that. And, uh, and I'm going to be, and I'm going to be honest with you, American Homestead has some really, Zach has some really good recipes for those um, MS. I've been watching his videos on those over and over again. Yeah, it was two and a half years old. Whoa, yeah. whoa. How did you know how, I bet she got some and she didn't bring it to me. That's why she was always going to the bathroom. She didn't have to go uh, potty. She was going over there and, and, and chomping on some meat. So, because every time I turn around, Rob, I'm talking about I had to go potty. I gotta go potty. She was over there getting some pachito. Yeah. That's, I got you for next year. Yeah. I've lived in Italy, and I know what cook for sure was. This stuff was gone. Good. It was really good. Uh-huh. Yeah, she got me again. She got me again. But Robin worked really hard, so she... She was uh, very hard. She was hoarse by the time we were done. Yeah, well, she was hoarse come like Thursday or Friday. There's a lot of, a lot of people talking. She, she was on top. She yep. spoke to a lot of people. You did too. You hardly had time to get a breath in. Yeah. And uh, your feet were hurting the first day. Yeah, they were hurting the first day because I forgot to get new insoles from a new boots. And um, the second day, because already... Um, Oh, now she's talking about somebody posted a picture on Instagram. Sure. Sure. Uh huh. Look, I know how you are with that. You. Mm -hmm. Talk to the hand. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, like oh, yeah. But my dogs, even with the new insoles, you know, were barking by the end of the day. And my back was like, hey, all this up and down. It's not trap. It's not December yet. It's not trap season. Why are we going up and down like this so much? And, uh, but, you know, <coughs> I got the, I think my biggest triumph of the conference was when Patty Alderman came by and we were talking about coyotes. And I taught her how to set the MB550. And she and she said it. Nice. She said it. It took her like two tries. But she still did but, it. And she got it. And so, which is awesome. And I'm looking forward to using it myself. Simply because I took your course and I know how to use it. And so, <clears throat> I got a canine issue at home from a neighbor who they just hyperbreed these, these dogs that they just turn on so for profit, they don't do it. They're not very healthy dogs. And so, you know, example, right after the hurricane, they were going after chickens because they hadn't been fed. Right. And so I'm looking forward to using these this this knowledge that I learned from you on my homestead. Plus I got a whole bunch of fat trash bandits. <laughs> Good old trash bandits. You gonna barbecue one? I'm gonna try it. I think I will. You gotta cook it slow. Yeah. Low and slow, Low and, and it's got to be on a grill yeah. to let all of that grease and fat drip off of it. And uh, man, you put some good barbecue, <laughs> put your favorite barbecue sauce on there. Ooh Try it out. Lip smacking. I figured, you know, if it comes to the point where you got to take the life of something, it's a corner, though, you got to at least see what you can get out of it. You get the high, what else you get out of it? Well, I mean, it depends on what you do with it. Like with, right. with us, you know. Like a coyote, for example, we, we'll take the hide and we'll put the carcass 
and our black soldier fly bin or we'll freeze it to wait to be able to go into our black soldier fly bin in the summertime and then we gather up the bones and then we can take them to UGA to their vet school and they'll use them for parts of their anatomy classes on canines and uh, so basically the entire animal gets used I, one of my big disappointments for the conference is I did not get to be able and and it's because she was working really hard too um, a farm girl in the making and she has her dogs on a complete raw meat diet we spoke about, yeah, we and I really about. wanted to sit down with her and say okay teach me how did you do it did you just send them on there cold turkey did you gradually put them on it um, you know what did you do you she's because she's very successful with that and I didn't get the opportunity to do it because she would I mean she was working really hard at the conference and uh, I want because that's what I want to do for Apollo and I'm hoping that will kind of help with a lot of his weight gain issues and uh, yeah my dog needs to go on a raw diet too because he's losing his hair and we can't figure out what it is it's not a disease like somebody has suggested before uh -huh. so we've had them tested it's just stress uh, it could be allergies I don't know what yeah but he needs to go on a raw diet And see, with with trapping and with uh, hunting and stuff, I have a lot of these organs, you know, that, because Robin doesn't want to eat haggis. And so, I guess I got to figure out what to do with these organs. And I can grind them up and use them as bait for the coyotes and stuff. But once you get a three gallon bucket full of ground up mice and ground up rats and ground up organs, you know, you're running out of freezer space, so you gotta want to do something with it. So if I can eliminate the organs and feed them to Apollo, that would be that would be the ideal thing. Yeah, so, but we wanted to jump on live here, say hi. What's up, W5 Farms? Um, and I'm gonna plug my channel in. <laughs> Let me use him. Uh, no, that is so Breakaway Homesteader. Check us out. Facebook, YouTube. That's yes, all that good stuff. Hey, look. Y'all at least go check him out as a favor to me because we wouldn't have been able to make it to the concert and have such a success at the conference if it wasn't for this guy right here. He came down because y'all know he's totaled my truck. And, uh,. We still had we kind of finally got the whole insurance thing rectified and to the point now where I can start to, to look for a truck. And uh, he he came down from North Carolina to our homestead in Georgia, picked us picked us up with a trailer, loaded our stuff um, up on the trailer, drove us up here, hung helped us set up first day. Um, I mean cooked his dinner last night this guy's awesome so go check out his channel and uh he's you're on youtube facebook instagram instagram uh what's the what's the thing twitter uh, twitter yeah yeah facebook instagram youtube twitter and uh pinterest as well on that yeah. i have pins you got pins i've got a few pins you got a few pins on Pinterest. yeah go to the youtube channel just check it out if you like it subscribe I've also got a, uh, uh, Robin wants to know if anybody wants to borrow a blender. I don't know. I don't know. I thought, I don't know. I don't know that one. Uh, check out my website as well. It's still going up and still getting information put in there. But it's, uh, breakawayhomesteader.us. Uh, it's more of a, not a prepper site, but a site where you can get information on what's going on. We've been dealing issues with hurricanes stuff like that it's got a hurricane checklist you can get it's got videos inside there that you can follow along you know how to barricade yourself inside for a heavy wind stuff like that yeah but just check it out if you like it subscribe to it if not that's fine. thank you kitty kitty put your link up oh thank you kitty so thank you kitty for doing that um so you got any last thing you want to say about the 
about the conference? Nope, I had a great time. You gonna come back next year? Yes, most definitely. Start saving now to be at next year's conference. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. You will leave. You may, if you're like me, you know, you gain new information and you forget some math. Okay, nobody uses algebra, so it's okay to forget that math. You will leave with new information. You will leave with a new sense of energy. You will leave with a new fire in your belly to become sustainable, to become more self-sufficient. And I'm gonna I'm, put I'm this. I'm motivated. I know you're motivated. Yeah. I'm gonna put this, and I'm gonna go like this. You see down that road right down yonder? I spent lots of summers way on the other side of that mountain over there. And that mountain way there in the background, that's where my family is from. My mama's side. That's where they, they came over on the boat. This Irishman that they were, or Scotsman, we ain't not figured out which one we are yet. And bam. That's where we are. That's the fancy gap. That mountain right there. The McGrady name runs deep up there. So, you guys, thanks for coming and hanging out in our live stream. Start saving your pennies now for next year's conference. It's going to be it's, even better. It's going to be even better. I don't even know who some of the guests are for next year yet. Um, I know we'll be there. Yeah. I know. I'm pretty sure Josh is coming back. Patrick said he's coming back. I know Tim Beverly will be there. I know Nunda uh, uh, Bonter Homestead will be there. You know Amy's going to be there. Amy has no choice. She has to be there. <laughs> um, she had a great course. But yeah, yeah. Really good course. I took a lot of notes from her herbal course. And yeah, it's was, it was pretty amazing. Now let me let me ask you something. Yeah. By signing up, you signed up and you took my class. Yes. Was that beneficial for you because during the conference then you were able to go to Amy's lecture? Right. And you didn't have to come to mine. Right. It was beneficial for me because it was one-on-one -on -one content. Uh -huh. uh, and that's what I wanted. And knowing that, one, I was also going to get your travelers kit along with it. It was a big bonus. And I'll tell you, I came back with a lot more than what he got put in his pocket from that event. I know he, 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 he loves teaching. But he came back with less than what I got. I got more than he got uh, with with uh, signing up for those courses. I don't know if they're going to do it next year or not, but uh, it, it was great. Because so the next morning, you and Amy had classes at the same time. I didn't have to attend your course because I already did it. I did that and then some. Right. I got the full day course. They got an hour lecture. Uh, but I got to see Amy. I got to learn about herbs on the farm. Uh, what she uses for her animals and uh, uh, for being sick, salves, tinctures, uh, some other words that I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> but uh, every time there was there were there were three events going on at any given time, you got to choose one of those three mm -hmm. per that event, uh, and then and so we did that. We did uh, Doug and Stacy. Did Mr. Alderman? He did crisis on the homestead. He was attacked by his, uh, a dog, one of his dogs, and so he, he and talks to people about how to deal with crisis in their life, not just getting attacked by a dog, but uh, any crisis whatsoever. And I think Jeff walked away from Tommy's talk yeah. with a new, with a new, new perspective. Look, new Jeff, perspective. Yeah, Jeff is a, is a is a retired combat medic. So he's seen some stuff in his head. And having him there last night, uh, we had dinner. He got to he got to have a little side conversation with him. Yeah. And he came back with some really good knowledge on his which, is, which is awesome. Yeah. So uh, he said that was worth it by itself. Yeah. Just yeah. To spend time with him and, and, and uh, talk to him. That's, that's awesome. But any given time during the whole two days, from 8 o'clock in the morning all the way to 4 o'clock in the afternoon, there was lectures would go for an hour, 15-minute break in between, lunch break. Uh, 
there's always something of interest there. So, yeah, love next year. I'm going to be back again. And the courses that I didn't take this time, if they're available next time, I'll do that. So, it's awesome. It's awesome to you. Okay, guys, don't forget to check us out tomorrow night on Two Family Homestead. Um, we're filling in for a guest that wasn't able to make it. You can guarantee we're going to be talking all about the conference, all about our interaction back and forth. I'm going to be wearing my Two Family Homestead t-shirts that, that they gave us. I'm going to be sporting them. And, uh, Speaking of t-shirts. I'm wearing, I'm wearing a Pratt Family Homestead t-shirt right now. Yeah, I wore a Pratt Family Homestead t-shirt to dinner last night at my house. <laughs> That's because Robin didn't give me his t-shirt yet. Yeah, but uh, we love the Pratts anyway, so they're cool. Yeah. Um, I don't have a Pratt Family t-shirt. So, Pratts, if you stumble across shirt. this, yeah. trade you shirt yeah. for shirt. Trade your shirt for shirt. And uh, so, all right, guys. We will see you tomorrow night on Two Family, and then uh, we'll probably pop on live. Be looking for some of our video footage coming out from the conference, if I can get a hold of some of these pictures. And uh, you guys, we love you, and we will see you again next time. How do you stop this thing? <laughs> you get the exit operator. Stop.